Hello, beloved. I pray that all is well. I just wanted to do a short video uh, for my brother, Minister George, on the topic of faith. I just simply want to lead us to the throne of grace in regards to faith. But first, I'll read a quick scripture. Paul urges us in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. He says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. Uh, and I charge us to do the same thing today, to stay on guard, to stand firm in the faith. Uh, for if there's ever a time to be firm and to be rooted in the faith of Christ is right now. We must remain courageous, we must remain strong because opposition still lies within us and lies around us. And yet we must do everything with love. As believers, we must continue to walk with the love and the compassion of Christ for they will know us by our love. Father, we come to you now simply asking that you help us to walk in the way in which you've called us to walk. God, I ask us that you allow for the fruit of your spirit to indwell deep within us, O oh God. Allow it to overflow so that the fruit of the spirit can flow into those around us. Lord, I'm praying that the, those at the sound of my voice can remain rooted in you, that their faith remains rooted in you, that their faith in you remains so strong and so deeply intact, O oh God, that nothing can waver it. That their faith in you, O oh God, is overarching and overbearing compared to anything going on around us. Let no circumstance, let no situation, let no person, let no desire, let no social media post. God, let anyone's faith be interrupted or flawed within you. God, I'm praying that those at the sound of my voice, whether they know you or whether they don't know you, Lord, let their faith be rooted in you. If they don't know you, God, I pray that they take advantage of this opportunity right now uh, to fall down humbly on their knees, to repent of their ways, oh God, and to confess that you are their Lord and Savior and simply believe in you and simply have a certainty of in you to allow them to be assured in you and in your words, oh God. Let our faith be rooted in you. Touch right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you, beloved. I pray that you are following the urge and following the call and the demand that Paul lays out for us to stand firm in the faith, um, never wavering. Uh, for right now, we see that now is a time where there's a pandemic and there's so many forms of opposition all around us. Now is a time to stand firm. I'm a firm believer that opposition is really just an opportunity and what greater opportunity to stand firm in the faith than right now. God bless you, beloved. Be safe. Love you.